Hello, hello, it's Mr. Grow. Don't be a bunch of criers, it's Mrs. Myers. Nice try, but... I know. I have nothing cool that rhymes with Mrs. Myers, but I'm here too. This time we're coming at you from an exciting destination known as school. Yes, we know many of you have not been here in a year, so we thought today's video should be a place you know well. We covered a ton of information in this unit, so we figured you could use a quick refresher to jog your memories. Let's start by reviewing the definition of civil rights. There are three real goals of achieving civil rights. The first is equal protection under the law. That means the law should apply equally to all people as human beings, regardless of race, ethnicity, gender identity, sexual orientation, etc. The second is equal opportunities. That means that everybody has the opportunity to get a good education and career paths are open to all people. In addition, it means that all people have the same access to resources needed to help them get a good education or career. For example, a college cannot discriminate against an applicant because of their ethnicity or disability status. And ideally, everybody would have the support necessary to actually achieve success in their various goals, like financial aid or accommodations for inequities. Really, it boils down to everyone sharing in both the responsibilities and the rights that come along with being an American. The third is equal access to public accommodations. This means that public places and things should be available to all in the exact same format. So in this unit, we talked about events to open up buses, schools, housing, movie theaters, restaurants, etc., to all people. With all that said, let's talk about some of the events that we covered in this unit, which relate to those three areas. We talked about so many different groups of people. Let's look at a few highlights. We are just going to remind you of events, but you will need to remember what happened and decide whether or not they were successful in achieving their goals. Let's start by talking about the equal protection under the law, specifically regarding education. There is the Mendez v. Westminster case, wherein Gonzalo Mendez filed a case on behalf of his daughter, Sylvia, over the segregation of schools in California. There is the Little Rock Nine and the integration of colleges such as the University of Alabama. Women wanted to get blanket, blanket equal protection under the law through the Equal Rights Amendment. Then a woman named Phyllis Schlafly stepped in as a formidable opponent. Additionally, there were legal protections for people with disabilities. For example, the situation with the 504 sit-ins, where people had to take action to force the creation of regulations to protect themselves. And let's not forget that voting is another issue that deals with the concept of equal protection under the law, but it's also equal opportunity. Right. The 15th Amendment, passed in 1870, was supposed to give all men over the age of 21 the right to vote. However, southern states implemented poll taxes, literacy tests, and the grandfather clause. There were a few attempts to register voters in the South. In Mississippi, there was the Freedom Summer, and in Alabama, the Selma to Montgomery March. Let's examine more examples of equal opportunity. This one is a more broad category than the other two, and it really looks at barriers at discrimination in a more general way. An example of this would be the AIDS crisis. It was largely thought of as a gay disease. Another example would be equal pay. We have a few examples related to women here. First, President Kennedy passed the Equal Pay Act in an attempt to force companies to pay the same for equal work. And let's not forget the stewardesses who were fired at age 32. And even though it's about education, the LA walkouts was really more about opportunity for Hispanic students to access the same education programs. Moreover, at the college level, even after schools were integrated, there were still issues with representation and opportunity in the faculty. This was addressed in the Oriental Student Union sit-ins at the Seattle Central Community College. One that I am not sure where to put is the farm workers. Both Filipinos and Mexican farm workers fought against horrible working conditions through events such as the Delano March and the nationwide Great Boycott. It seems to fit best with equality of opportunity because they deserve to have the same labor union protections of factory workers. And the same vagueness applies to Native Americans. The creation of the American Indian movement had to do with things such as tribal identity, land ownership, think Alcatraz occupation, and the broken treaties. Again, there was a need for all of society's responsibilities and rights to apply to them. Finally, we have access to public accommodations. We looked at equal access and transportation through both the Montgomery bus boycott and the Freedom Rides. Questions of whether segregated busing was allowed were tested at both the local and federal levels. We found out about the most segregated city in America, Birmingham, Alabama, and how the Children's March fought against the city and Bull Connor. And we examined lunch counter segregation with the Greensboro and Mississippi sit-ins. I know this was a long list, but hopefully it sparked some memories. You do not need to know all of these events, but you should be able to talk about at least one in each category in more detail. 
and it would be good to know which events were successful and which ones weren't. Mr. Grove, can they only use the events we talked about? No! Any event from our entire activism unit is up for grabs. Anything that relates to civil rights for a group of people is good. What about hippies? Weren't they activists? Or what about the environmentalists? No. The hippies were more protesters, and that would be a wrong answer. Do not use it. And we haven't even talked about the environmental movement yet, so don't use that either. Stick to rights for people. Great. Well, I think our audience should be in pretty good position now. There's so much to talk about. They should easily be able to find three events to talk about in depth with no problem. One from each category. Right, we didn't cover everything in this video, so they will have to go back and do a little bit more research if they want to get all the questions right. I have one more question. Is it okay if I use Wikipedia to find the answers? No! <laughs> you should never use Wikipedia. Second, this needs to be in your own words. We are looking for what you learned, not what the internet says. Sounds good. Happy studying, everyone. Yes, happy studying. And that's all, folks.